Okay, today I'm replacing the CMOS battery in my Acer Extensa, Extensa 4420. And uh, since uh, I didn't know how to take the laptop apart, uh, I didn't video it. So it's apart now, and I'm going to just video putting it back together. So you have to get it down to the, uh, the keyboard. You have to get the keyboard off. You have to get the front bezel off the LCD screen. And you have to get this front, uh, I don't know what you call this, the little bezel here with a couple of keys on the right side, uh, right above the keyboard. And in before you can get the keyboard off, this, ha this piece has to come off. And then underneath the keyboard is a screw. Okay, once that screw is up, then you can lift up, you can separate this enough to get inside to see the uh, battery. Let's see if we can see it here. Light right down. There it is in there. Point at it with, uh, let's see here. Okay, there it is. Yeah, there's the holder for it. It's a white plastic holder. And if you can get in there with a little tool, I got in there with a tool like this. Okay. This little tool right here. Where are we? Right here. A little dental tool. And you can get in there and hook it off to the right side. You gotta hook it from the right side, pull it over to the left, and lift it up. It comes out easily. So anyway, the new battery's in there. And let's put it back together. Take this guy out of there. It goes back down. Okay. So. Alright. Now I took off this connector. I didn't need to. I didn't take any of the other connectors apart. There is one screw underneath the cover, uh, underneath the keyboard. <coughs> that has to be removed in order to get that battery out. It's right there. Um, and so. Put that screw back in. I got the connector back together, and I'll put the keyboard back on now. Now, I think you just hook it in the bottom here. So I pulled the bottom part out last. Okay, keyboard's back in place. Uh, you have to snap in the bottom. There's, uh, <coughs> I don't know, three or four catches at the bottom. You just push them straight down, that snaps them in. Then you kind of warp the board a little bit, center up a little bit, and the sides go in then. And then you put down two screws. Uh, one, and two. <coughs> Make sure you get them in pretty tight, because <coughs> they use, uh, originally use uh, a glue on the screw. So you don't want them rattling out unless you got some of your own glue. Yeah, I forgot to say, uh, when I put the battery back in, the new battery, I used a pair of tweezers like this because it can't get your fingers all the way in there. And I put it in an insulator on one side here so when you uh, grab the battery, you're not shooting out the plus to the minus. And that worked really good. So, <clears throat> next is put this bezel back on. And uh, I managed to get it off without getting the uh, display off. I saw some sites uh, say that I had to do that, but I didn't have to, which I'm glad about. We'll put that back on. Okay, this uh, bezel on top of the keyboard is back on now. Got a bunch of snaps on it all the way across. Um, yeah, so next is the front bezel on the pan on the LCD screen. Okay, so. Front bezel is back on the LCD screen now. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, <coughs> when you had all this apart, you should be checking the uh, screws on the hinges. If they're loose, then what happens is, and maybe you already know about it, is they tend to break. You get crack lines right here and right here because when the hinges are loose, then it puts stress on the plastic case and the plastic case breaks. 
seems to be a common thing with these Acers and probably other laptops too. You can see my repair job that fixes the uh, cracks in the in the case. But the screws are tight on the hinges now. So next is <coughs> uh, flip it over and put all the screws back in the bottom. Snap the case back down all the way around and um, put the screws in. I have the memory out. I didn't need to do that. Didn't need to take the hard drive out either. <coughs> it could have stayed. There's your wireless card. Uh, fan. Maybe also a good idea to blow out your fan. Well, you got it open. If you got a little bit of compressed air blow from here, straight out the back. Get all the dust out of the back end. Uh, this looks pretty clean right now, but I'll give it a blow anyway.